Danny job, here we go. Came to the station to check up on our bottles. And I'm gonna get this one right here. Okay, Danny, you got this one? This is the one that I was talking about. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's get this one right here. Okay, Danny, you got this one? This is the one that I was talking about. Okay, Danny, you got this one? This is the one that I was talking about. Okay, Danny, you got this one? This is the one that I was talking about. Okay, Danny, you got this one? This is the one that I was talking about. Okay, Danny, you got this one? This is the one that I was talking about. And this one needs to be changing. We're down to 500. This way, uh, we keep a try to keep a good amount of over close to 2,000 psi. So this is what we're doing is changing the bottles out as the, as the nitrogen is being fed through the cable and dissipating through. Uh, we got. Our, Here's where we keep our full and empty. We're heading down to uh, another station here, feeding a couple other cables. Here's other ones that feed other cables throughout the uh, system here. And all is good. Oh, I see this one's very low, 200. And that one's still good. And that one's still good. What we do is uh, we have a primary and the backups. So if the front go flat, there's always backup and always keep the pressure in the cable. So that's what we do is try to maintain always the nitrogen capacity up. Like somebody asked me, what is the pressure? About 10, 12. And uh, that's the, what we try to do is keep that pressure in that cable. All right, stand by. All right, so what I'm gonna be doing here is now uh, turning off our valve down here. Closing it up. And what happens now, the backup is in charge now to be able to turn all the bottles off and put our new ones as the Help us bring it forward here. Alrighty, stand by for a sec. Alright, so as we uh, start taking off all the holes, you can hear the pressure being released. And we start changing everything out and put the, like I said, the new bottles in place. Meantime, the backup is on and keeping the pressure consistent inside the cable. Alrighty, stand by once again. All right, now that I changed out all the hoses, what I'm gonna do is apply some pressure now that everything's back on, back on. So we crack it open a little bit, get some pressure in there. We got 2,400 pounds. And what I usually do is now we check for leaks. We give everything a bath here. The hoses, everything could be spring the leak. So we try to spray everything down. We have enough out there in the field. So if we could eliminate some of that here and replace the hoses that are bad. And we've got a pretty good solid one. So far so good. So if I don't see any leaks anywhere, you would saw, see, here we go. She's bubbling up right here. So what I'll do is turn off the gas again, release the pressure, and tighten her up again. All right, I stand by. All right, so what happened is we also, these things after a while, they get all stripped out, the nut. So we can't tighten it as much as we can, so we're gonna have to change it out. You don't want me to say your name, right, Lou? Only a million people watching me, right? You could do it. You could do it going the wrong way. There you go. Yeah, we give it the paralyzing, polarizing grip sometimes. And it's a little stiff after a while. Whoa, easy there, kid. 
Alrighty, so he's gonna put it back. So we're gonna go to the other station and start working on it. Once again, this is where we feed the cable in from. And this is our setups. So we're gonna replace that one that's uh, down below the 500 and uh, replace it. All right, stand by. So we're done tightening up all the nuts on this, on the gas bottle. So now what we're gonna do is spray and then check for leaks. Put all of them all up there. Don't miss. All right, turn one bottle quarter, quarter of the way. Let's see what's going on. Turn it on. Quarter, quarter of the way. The other way. All right. Going up 2,200 pounds. Cool. Any bubbles anywhere? Spray them again, please. Yes. This is called soapy water. It's made for this to help us find leaks. What we used the other night on the, uh, on the, oh, here we go. See, even here we got leaks and stuff. So we're gonna try to fix that. All right, stand by. Sometimes it's the hose, sometimes just the connection here or sometimes even the bottles, they come and they be leaking from here. That's how we, we drench it with the soapy water. All right, stand by. So we're up here in our other location. And we're gonna see what this one, this cable has been using. Hopefully it's not drained out or, or still has a couple more days left. So we don't have to change the uh, bottles right now, right now. Let's see what we got. Yep, she's at change level. So we're gonna be changing another five more. And our backup is good. So we're gonna put it, switch it over to the backups. And we'll turn it off here as you see. She kind of goes all the way around to here. Close this valve. This one's open, feeding the cable still. And we'll turn all these off. All right, stand by. Well, there's various ways to release the pressure on the, on the bottles and stuff. So earlier I showed you by loosening the, the nut here, but this one we put a release valve here. And this all released, zeroed out up here. No, no, uh, no pressure whatsoever, close it back up. Now we can take the hoses without no pressure at all. All right, stand by. All right, so we had to replace one of the T's over here and uh, they get stripped out most of the time from off and on a lot. So I had to take care of that issue first. All right. Otherwise replacing all five bottles and she'll be back to normal in a sec. All right, stand by. at this station also all the bottles are changed down now we soak her with soapy water to make sure there's no leaks anywhere and we got our pressure back up to like 22 2300 pounds at uh, 10 that's what we allow in the cable is the 10 pressure 10 psi all righty nothing she looks good. All right, stand by. 